how influential, or maybe how maybe inspiring is the wrong word, maybe Joff Loop's work ethic could be to some of the younger players. Well, I think uh, Loops is a guy that works extremely hard in practice, and it pushes, and it it shows the the younger guys that we have how hard he works. He's a guy that that's been around. He's had success, and you can see he's a guy that that pushes guys in practice, and I think it's contagious. How has your relationship with Randy kind of evolved over a year plus? I think everyone has a, a real good understanding of how he, what he expects, how he, how he carries himself, and and what he expects from our group. So, when he came in last year at the end of the year, it was a, a period of a learning period of of the change and the little change of the system, what he, how he what he asks of his players and what he expects of his players. So I think it's been a, guys know where, what he expects and, and how we stand. But as the captain, like, is there a difference between how you deal with him and maybe how you deal with Ron? Like, is there differences between Well, they're, they're two different, uh, they're two different people, they're two different coaches and they have different philosophies and different styles. So I, I like, uh, I like working for Randy. He's uh, he's done a real good job here, and I have a I have a good relationship with him. He mentioned that he thinks he's seeing right now the benefits of not asking you to do as much as you were asked to do a year ago, which was to put in 28, 30 minutes of ice time a night. Do you feel that in your own body or in your between your own ears that uh, that you might be benefiting from uh, yes. not having to do quite so much? Yeah, it's. I said it before minutes are going to vary on on different nights and I think uh, when you when you have the opportunity to to maybe be cut back a little bit that it uh, it pays off in the sense that you're a little bit fresher so uh, there's a balance there that sometimes when you're playing a little bit less that you you feel fresher in in the long run you play a lot of games so I think the maybe when you're cut back a little bit that it, it pays off in, in the shortened year with the the back to back games and the, the three games and four nights, five and seven, that's where you really uh, notice it. How have you been able to find a balance between putting up the points that you have and, and the minutes that you're asked to play defensively? Well you've got to first and foremost your job is to keep the puck out of your net and that's my job is to, to be a guy that's dependable. But I'm also I know that I'm expected to produce too, so uh, you've got to find uh, a balance. And I know what what's expected of me, and I know what I have to do. Are you enjoying being captain a bit more this year? Um, when you, anytime the team has success, it's uh, it's good. Whether you're, it takes everybody to have success, and that's why we've had some this year. Is that we've had efforts from from every guy. You look last night. There's a big fight by Mac and. A big goal by Loops. I think every guy is contributing in our wins. As, an, as the captain, as a young defenseman on your team who's sort of struggling to find his footing in, in the show with Jake, having to, to watch as a healthy scratch last time, is there anything, you know, as captain that, that you might pull him aside or just mention something on the bus to the airport or anything about yeah, I think, with his confidence or how to approach the game? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is that you, for him, you don't want a, him to get down. He's He's a guy that he's got great skills. He he's a great player and he'll he'll find his way back in the lineup.